The warming comes with a warning, a threat of flooding. Storm surges up to four feet higher than their local tide lines. Millions could lose their homes because of climate change. Rising sea levels are threatening nearly all of Louisiana's coastal parishes. Tonight, there is a new projection that rising seas due to climate change could cause a whole lot of damage much sooner than anyone had previously thought. The report from our chief environmental affairs correspondent, Ann Thompson. Here in New York City, the danger is not just to the low-lying areas where millions live, but to the very way people get around. Benjamin Strauss of the nonprofit group Climate Central says the odds of a 100-year flood happening by 2030 doubles for two-thirds of the places studied. We found that a once-a-hundred-year flood becomes a once-a-decade flood fastest in Southern California. To help better understand the risk, Climate Central has created an interactive online mapping tool that shows the risk in cities up and down the coasts. Two scientific papers in the peer-reviewed journal Environmental Research look at rising seas caused by climate change, and they conclude that nearly four million Americans live in homes that will be more prone to flooding. Here's John Blackstone. By 2030, that could mean much of the American coastline may be in danger of severe flooding. Ben Strauss is a scientist with Climate Central, a nonprofit group that studies the potential impact of climate change. There are pockets of vulnerability all around the nation, including New York City, Southern Virginia, uh, Louisiana, uh, and both Southern California and the Bay Area. For New York City, that means by 2030, there's a one in six chance floodwaters will rise five feet beyond current high tide levels. A hundred thousand homes would be at risk. That's the word from a new report released today, which is touted as the first widespread effort to calculate the sea level risk across the nation's entire coastline. Maya Rodriguez has the story that's all new at 6 o'clock. To illustrate their findings, the group created a website which allows users to enter their zip code and see how sea level rise will affect that area in the coming years. America's Wetland Foundation says coastal restoration could be part of the solution. And we have got to move back the land that has been eaten away by the sea. Before the sea moves on to what land is left. What will hurt us with sea level rise is a rise at high speed. And if we, if we don't prepare for that, I will be in deep trouble. I think the risk is greater on the side of not preparing. Ben Strauss of Climate Central, thanks for joining us.